Hello, my name is Richard Fennell and today I'm going to be talking about using Ivana. This is an add-in for Type Mock Isolator that allows you to test web interfaces. In my previous video I talked about using SharePoint to enable the design phase of a project. So when working with a complex product such as SharePoint you could remove much of the infrastructure and use a layer that is faked out with Type Mock Isolator to greatly reduce the complexity of your development environment. That's all well and good and it allows you to look at everything that you're doing and make very rapid changes but it doesn't actually do anything to help you test the system other than enabling a tester to navigate the system and look with their own eyes. If you want to actually add some automated testing to the system we need a way of programmatically loading a web page, poking values into it and making sure that the values that we get back are the ones we expect. I would call this you faking out SharePoint for test so we want to enable our hosting inside an ASPX page and play back with tools that allow us to actually see what's going on. A tool that can enable this is Ivana. This is an add-in that's shipped as part of the TypeMock Isolator package in various bundles and what it effectively does, it's a pre-built set of libraries that allow you to fake out an ASP.x server inside a unit test. So, what does that look like? How does it work? We're going to be using the same web pages that we used in my previous demo. If you remember, we had a simple web page that we tried to load that contained the web part, which gave us errors because a standard IS server cannot render SharePoint components, and a page that used Type Mock Isolator to mock out the SharePoint components so our page rendered correctly. What we want to do is call these pages inside a unit test. If we look at the unit test that we have here, this is using Ivana to enable this process. First, we create an Ivana test session. We then tell it which page to load, and then we tell it to actually load the page. We then check to see that the page contains what we expect. We use a variety of techniques here. First, we check that we actually have a page being rendered. We then use some extension methods provided by Ivana to find a specific control on a page and check it's not null. We also use a somewhat belt and braces method of navigating the page to find a specific label and check the text inside that label is what we expect. So if we run this test, we should see it come back in a few moments and tell us that the page has been loaded and that all of the assert criteria have been met. Now one thing to note with Ivana is it is quite slow to start uh, but if I was running a batch of tests, you see this test took 15 seconds, if I was running a batch of 20 tests it would probably still take about 15 seconds. It's the initial spin up of the environment that takes the time. So what we see here, we have a standard unit test that could be run on any machine that has Type Mock Isolator installed on it. There is no requirement for a browser, there is no requirement for any UI point and click screen capture style tests. Now these are still an excellent option for many testing requirements but this does give another string to your bow, another way that you can attempt to do your testing. I hope you found that short demonstration of Ivana useful and has given you some ideas as some of the ways that you can actually make use of TypeMock Isolator and its associated add-ins to enable your development and testing process. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Again, I hope you found this video useful.